Hi and welcome again to Learning AutoCAD 2013. Today we'll cover annotative styles in tutorial number 15. In our last video we explained how to create our own text, dimension and multi-leader styles manually because we need them to show correctly when plotting or printing or when we're working in paper space with multiple scales. But we can simplify our job by using the same styles we learned the last time as annotative, which means that instead of us doing it, AutoCAD will adjust or resize the annotations all by itself. And we'll jump into this subject in just a second. This tutorial has been created by EasyCAD for you, and we just want you to rate the video and share it if you enjoy. So what's the meaning of having annotative styles, like, uh, for example, annotative dimensions or annotative text? In simple terms, it's a style that does the entire math involved and scales up everything like letters, dimensions, hatches, callouts, etc. all by itself or automatically to the values you pre-select, like for example, to see it consistently or at the same size in paper space at the same height. So you can have different portions of your drawing at different scales in the same sheet of paper and the height of the letters and dimensions will show up uniformly. And before you jump to the conclusion then that manual styles are not necessary anymore, let me tell you this, that is not absolutely true. Almost every detailed work will require you to enter or adjust text or dimensions manually at some point. And on top of that, you need to know how it works behind the scenes to see why sometimes something doesn't work the way you expect and being able to track down the solution. But yes, the ball can be done with annotative styles and it indeed will make our lives easier big time when dimensioning and printing later on. Now let's begin by creating a dedicated layer to the for the annotations and at this point you should know how to do it or go back to the appropriate video and just make sure to na name it and set current. Now we're going to Annotate tab, Dimensions panel and click the arrow here to call the Dimension Styles Manager. We have two options. The first one is when doing a new style. Inside the Create New Dimension Style dial box, just check the, this box here to specify our style will be annotative. So you're saying to AutoCAD, I want this style to be annotated from scratch. And all that follows now is to indicate the specifications for the style as uh, we did in our previous tutorial. Now the second option is modifying an existing style and change it from user defined to be uh, now an annotative. So for us to do that, select the style you want, click modify, on the right and then here go to feed tab to look for this checkbox here under section scale for dimension features. Now check it and click OK. See that the style with an icon on the left resembling a cross section of a scale are annotative while the others are regular or user defined styles. The process is going to be similar for other uh, styles like for example for multi-leader or text styles. And before closing the manager, let's set current one of our annotative dimension styles and let's use it to dimension our plan. First, let's erase our existing dimensions. So now we're good to go and although we can dimension this plan piece by piece, I'd rather do it with command quick dimension, which is here, select it. If this is the first time with this drawing using an annotative object, which chances are is going to be in your case, you will receive a request like this asking for the scale or model space. You can accept the default, which is one to one, or if it proves to be too little, once you have it on the screen, just adjust it down, as you see here, in the annotation scale button from the options menu to a more comfortable or, and here we have one, the request select geometry to dimension so I'll select all this area hit enter and the prompt now is specify dimension line position 
click on the side you prefer more or less or you want your dimension lines to be and this should be the result the same for all sides I mean I'm going to uh, dimension all sides but if it turns to be a little overwhelming you can try selecting less geometry and it'll be easier for you uh, to manage so now for us to be able to see better our dimensions here and being able to adjust or resize them properly let's adjust our model space scale for annotations as we already mentioned down here at the annotation scale button and from the menu let's use a more comfortable one like in my case I'll use a quarter of an inch equal one foot then we simply remove or adjust the ones that are not the way we like we do it by selecting them and just click delete if you want to remove them or if you want to resize it or move them just grab it through the markers and put it somewhere else so now take the time to adjust on your own all of your dimensions the way you prefer and normally this should take a while so I'll use this moment to remind you guys to like the video and subscribe for more content and here we have the final product after I did all my corrections and adjustments which might take a while it might have uh, included adding some dimension manually or one by one so remember so you might want to pause the video until you're done and your drawing looks more or less like this one we switch now to work with text styles we can select any style and make it annotative or create a new one and do the same as uh, it was with the previous one we worked by checking the box here and notice that notice that when we do it the height of the letter changes see to paper text height and this is what we'll have in paper space so just make sure to adjust it accordingly in my case I'll use for this one an eighth of an inch height and for the second one I'll use a quarter of an inch height so that uh, see that as in the dimension styles the icon on the left indicates these styles are now annotative so for new styles you will have to enter the height of the letter for uh, the height of the letters for paper space and that is not a problem the problem comes when you're modifying existing styles because you have to make sure to resize it to paper space requirements otherwise you will have the incorrect letter size in papers and for the leader style when we call the manager again we have two options create new or modify existing styles for new option for new styles I'm sorry we have the annotative checkbox right here or if we prefer modifying an existing one we can find that checkbox in the leader structure tab under the scale section after checking it all we do is hit OK now and close it and remember if you're modifying everything else should be already pre-selected and the leader styles will behave the same way as the other two we've done so far as a final detail let's go to tool palettes annotations and from there let's use the drawing title block now just uh, drag and drop you can drag and drop it or you can double click and it will uh, add it to the drawing now just double click on top of every section to modify it like here we do it on top of view title and in the editor we can modify it and now rename it I'll use floor plan do the same with the one below and rewrite it also I'll use scale a quarter of an inch equal one foot dash zero inches because this is my intention with the floor plan on paper now let's move to paper space or layout tabs and here we have our sheet of paper the one I have here is the regular one eight and a half inches by eleven please don't try to follow what I'm doing since this is the subject for our next tutorial just concentrate on the advantage of using these annotative styles if I want to present my work at a scale of a quarter of an inch equal one foot I can select it and see how the annotations stay the same size it doesn't matter what scale I'm using it will keep the annotations in paper at the size we specified consistent 
And that's a huge advantage because if we wouldn't have this option, we would have had to create one style per every scale we want to use, but we just solved that with only one. Remember, this doesn't cover everything about this subject, but the basics. However, you just learn here a very useful tool working with annotative styles and also a time saver and a convenient way to speed up your drawing. Now for the next video, we'll see how to work in this area. We'll cover the paper space, the viewports and the plotting process. Well friends, this is all for today. Don't forget to rate the video. Feel free to post any questions. Again, thanks for watching and see you next time.